Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal his notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the High Overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the Seven Strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good. Hmm? What the? Sí, sí. 
is gone. They went through chest high waters with their hounds. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Anywhere, brother. This is folly, I tell you. If he catches us in here... I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps the Black Book on his person at all times. We went to the trouble of breaking into Campbell's sanctum for nothing. Shh, listen. What was that? You can stay and find out, but not...
you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Someone here. Yeah. For me. Get behind get it. Did you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down, and by the time I got back it had snapped shut. I spent the rest of lockdown out on a ledge. <laughs> Maybe the outsider was watching. him out of Coldridge prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as they say. He got through. At help, yes, but how far to... Safe place to hold up in all this chaos. She is here anywhere. 
I'll come straight to you. Yeah, it's nice. Time for drinks. I hope so. The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained. Time? I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <coughs> Tivian, you say? A bit dry. Now, I know you'll agree that we can't <coughs> allow word of overseers <coughs> behaving this way to reach the heavens. <coughs> you can't seriously expect me to... <coughs> Campbell. This wine's rather strong. Is it? You're not a lightweight, are you? I... can't feel my hands. Really? Can you feel yourself dying, you ridiculous parasite? What did you say? <coughs> Campbell. I do love my life. <clears throat> can, can he be dead? Guards, come at once! An assassin has poisoned Kurnow. This noble soul. Lock the place down and search the offices from top to bottom. The walls are breached. I'll be in the sanctum as we discuss. We must deny any assassin his most valuable target. I trust you. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching to in our district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Locked? The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. What a... Who's been in here? I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. Well, time to do this the hard way. What was that, Campbell? Never mind. It's a stroke of luck for you, Captain. I'm forced to break out the real vintage. Leave the men here. I will have to share with all of them. <laughs> Very well, Campbell. As long as we get this little dispute settled.
himself has these five attributes by which he hopes to defeat the righteous. He is patient, for he waits every hour and every day of our life. He, he is subtle, for many do his work and know it not. He is strong, and only by utmost striving ages before we are born, and will continue thus long after we are dust. My younger sister lives with my wife and me, but does not cook with me. Yeah, it's nice. And only yesterday she spoke of a wish to read a book. What shall I do? This is very troubling. This is See this painting? Believed to be early Sokolov. Something primal in there. The way the brushwork slashes across the canvas. If you say so, Campbell. I can't say I have enough. You have my thanks. Though by all rights, I should probably arrest you. Huh. You seem familiar. Even with that mask on. No matter. This once I'll just go my own way. You yours. those fools at Coleridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? High Remmel, the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least.
have is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? He's gone. Here it is, a pin, hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. All seven strictures each day. It's his own little joke. He angers easily and takes revenge without mercy. The High Overseer, Patty's Camel.
It's just a little cough. I'm fine. I feel completely fine. Fine? Look at you. You have the plague. You were trying to conceal it from us, your brothers in the Order. Was that your intent? To spread the malady to us? No, friend. I, I tell you, I am well. <coughs> as fit as ever. Put down your weapons. Just think for a moment before you... <coughs> he was sick. Very, very sick. That much I'm sure of. Now to find some way to dispose of the body without spreading his illness. Just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open.
Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. The way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go.